my dudes, it's Debbie, and today I am taking you around to all of Universal Orlando Resort, showing you all of the Halloween offerings that are not part of HHN. Yes, you do not need to buy a Halloween Horror Nights ticket to have yourself a spooky time here during spooky season. I did do a full guide to Halloween Horror Nights, and I will link that video for you here and put it in the description box below. But there is so much going on here at Universal doing, during spooky season that is outside of HHN, and I want you guys to know about it. So let's get into it. Let's do spooky season in Universal Orlando, and let's go get into some hijinks. We are starting at Universal's Cabana Bay Beach Resort on the second floor. Here you can find Chucky's Twisted Playground. This is an exclusive event for Universal Orlando Resort hotel guests. Not just Cabana Bay, any of the hotels can come. You have to show your room key. They do something like this in the Fun in the Sun Rec Center here at Cabana Bay every year. It's a walkthrough experience with photo ops, sometimes special effects. It always is changing every year. And this year it is themed to Chucky. It's actually based off of the TV series version of Chucky. Ooh, here we go. Chucky's Twisted Playground. So they said that this year it's basically photo opportunities. We have this giant and Chucky we trust. I hear Chucky laughing. They also have some optical illusion photos. If you stand here, which is so cute on the good guy standing steps, that'll be the perfect spot for your optical illusion photo. So we're gonna try to like recreate Chucky throwing us off a building. Oh my gosh, next is Tiffany. Look how cute she is. Oh. Chucky just said, I've killed more people than you've had Facebook followers. Okay, so this one is going to make it that we look small in Tiffany's cage. We have a yard sale with all these different types of dolls. There's the giant good guy Chucky box. Well, it looks like Chucky escaped that box and started cutting the heads off of these dolls. <laughs> okay, this is a, officially the creepiest thing I've ever seen the doll heads on the, uh, whatchamacallit, the foosball table. That is, I hate it, I hate it. Chucky, what is happening here? What is happening here? You made her into a chicken and then you're cutting her or is this just how dolls look like when you bake them? <laughs> Friends till the end. And look, even Jack made an appearance. <laughs> also, the doll head chess pieces. Why? Horrifying. Oh my gosh, I, I'm gonna be obsessed with this one. Ow! This is amazing, all of the mirrors and you don't know where actual Chucky is coming from. This reminds me of the Weekend House from last Halloween Horror Nights. I love that house so much and this one scene where there's like a bunch of mirrors and you don't know who's real um, and who's not and they were like those guys in the bandage masks. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. So when you stand here, oh my gosh, that's terrifying. That tripped me up so much that as I was walking out, I almost legit walked into a mirror. <laughs> Tiffany up there. Just all these little set pieces, little photo op areas, just all little fun details of the dolls and the doll heads. And oh my gosh, I didn't even see this before walking past it. It's a spinning wheel with the doll tied to it. These poor dolls, they never stood a chance. <laughs> this one's on the bandsaw. This one, I think it's a guillotine because, or something like that, because there's a headless doll at the very bottom of it. Whatever it is, it's not a good time for that doll. Now this photo op is super cool because this is the opening of the TV show Chucky and they have all of these little doll heads and they all come together to form the word Chucky and it's all on here right now and all like the needles and it's it's kind of like an optical illusion too so you stand in the spot on the floor and then you'll be able to see it all come together like it does in the title sequence. This was so fun. I love all the photo ups and it's like a nice little like a move bouche to HHN if you come and do this before you head into the park. Also, maybe if you're a little like unsure about Halloween Horror Nights and you want to maybe try out like a little bit of horror, this is definitely a fun activity to do if you are a resort guest. 
This experience is available from 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. through November 1st. Just wanted to include this in this video. If you are going to HHN, the Bayliner Diner here, which is their quick service, will stay open for late bites after a night full of scares from Halloween Horror Nights. Grab and go options include the following on the board. Staying in Cabana Bay, here downstairs in the lobby, you will find the Swizzle Lounge. Every year, they make it a very fun Halloween-themed bar. This year, they did, looks like, Pumpkin Lord, all overgrown. I love that it has it all the way on the top as well. Mr. Carver's best selection of pumpkins. So cute. And they do have some Halloween Horror Nights cocktails, a walking zombie, spooky margarita, the dark and gory, Bloody Mary, jack-o'-lantern, the twisted rum punch, pool's breath, Creamsicle. Never drink alone. I love that. And you can get these drinks in a souvenir cup. I absolutely love coming over here and getting some spooky cocktails out of the park. It's a little more chill here, but you get to have that spooky environment. And for the first time this year over at Universal Endless Summer Dockside Inn, the Sunset Lounge will also turn into a Halloween themed bar called the Spooky Sunset Lounge. We're at Lowe's Royal Pacific Hotel here at Universal. I'm going to have a full tour of this hotel coming out soon. I will link it for you here and put in the description box below. But we are here because this year all of the Universal hotels are getting these little photo opportunities for Horror Nights. It's going to be based off a Universal monster. Looks like we have Dracula here. So make sure to head to a Universal lobby to do your photo op. Made it over to the Universal Studio side and we're going to head into the Tribute Store. Every year for HHN, the Tribute Store pops up with a new theme, giving you all the spooky vibes and they go all out. I did a full tour of the Tribute Store with all of the Halloween merchandise this year and I will link that video for you here and put in the description box below. This year it's themed to comics and there's comics in every different room and I will read them out to you in that video. They really went all out this year. This is my favorite Tribute Store of all time. The effects are incredible. The storytelling is amazing. Each room is different. But what I'm so excited about, because I came to the Tribute Store to film that video, the day the Tribute Store opened, my comic was not here. And now it's finally here. So every year the Tribute Store does something where you can be a part of the Tribute Store. This year it's comics and I finally did it. So you get to stay here the entire time uh, during HHN season and then they will mail it to you when it's over and this year we had four different five different comics to choose from I chose uh, Grave Consequences and sent in my picture it's a pretty hefty price over $80 but that's including shipping but I think this one was so worth it I think this is the, the coolest one they've ever done for this and I just love it so if you're looking for me I'm at the very end of the hallway on the right side and I cannot wait to get this after the spooky season is over. Made it to Universal's Islands of Adventure and we're gonna head into the Islands of Adventure Trading Company. Here you can pick up the map for the Lil Boo's Trick or Seek. So you're gonna pick up a map, it's gonna be over $13 and you're gonna do a little scavenger hunt throughout all of Universal Orlando Resort. So you see how it says pumpkin seeds here, you're gonna put that in the corresponding section of the map and you're going to keep doing that throughout the entire scavenger hunt and you get a prize. It's a little sun catcher ornament, so if you're interested in doing this fun little spooky activity during your visit, you can pick this up here at this merchandise location and a few others. Over in the back of the park in the Lost Continent is the All Hallows Eve Boutique. This is actually here all year now, but they make it all extra spooky during HHN, rather they theme it to HHN. This is so cool. So they have giant posters of the houses, so Dooley Dragon's house and the dark Steel House, Yeti, Blood Moon. Uh, I love it. They have as the centerpiece Dr. Oddfellow's traveling oddities featuring Jack. I guess before Dr. Oddfellow killed him. And look at our little boo. <laughs> our little boo pumpkins. And look, I found another little boo for the scavenger hunt. Ooh, and in here they have the little boo trick or seek collectible. I definitely recommend coming in here if you're interested in Halloween merch because there are a lot of things that you can find over in studios at the Tribute Store, but there's also stuff that is not there, like all these like Universal Monster plushes and the Geeky Tiki's. 
Plus, it's just so stinking cool in here, and I love that it's open all year round. Made it over to Universal City, walking on the upper level. The Red Coconut Club has been transformed into the Dead Coconut Club. To get in, you must be 18 years or older. If you are 21 or older, they will give you a wristband so you can buy a drink. Welcome to Monstergram Pictures. We are here for the premiere of Revenge of the Red Planet in 3D. If you are lucky when you first walk in, you may get a chance to meet a Universal monster like I did. I got to meet Dracula. You'll also find some great photos of Universal monsters, including some fun production equipment like the old cameras and the film canisters. And you have the Bride of Frankenstein's makeup chair. Such a cute touch. Then you will walk into the dance floor with the DJ playing some of your favorite Halloween hits. The dance floor is decorated so amazingly with all of these really fun alien photo ops. The one in the back is so cool with all of them standing there. You have to go behind the dance floor to find them. And then all over the wall you have the stars and the spaceships and it looks like some of the astronauts have gotten caught by the aliens. The entire menu is themed to being the Dead Coconut Club. First up, we have the specialty drinks. It's the Red Planet Punch, the Plasma Punch, the Asteroid Attack, and the Ooze. They also have some different beers, draft beer, canned beer. They have wines like the Spellbound Cabernet. They have a mocktail called the Spirit Free Slime. And there are gonna be three bars throughout this entire club. There's gonna be two bars downstairs and one upstairs plus more, so let's head upstairs. As you head up the stairs, you're going to see all these really cool Universal Monsters posters, like the Creature of the Black Lagoon, the Mummy, the Invisible Man, Frankenstein's Monster, the Wolfman, and all the classic Universal Monsters. I love the upstairs because you get a great view of the dance floor and it's a little less intense up here, plus, this is where they are showing Revenge of the Red Planet in 3D. The theming up here is absolutely incredible. So you have the snack bar, which is another bar, but they make it look like you're in the movie theater. And you have like the Coca-Cola, the old fridge. But the best part is the Universal Monsters with the 3D glasses watching the movie and you can sit and watch with them. It's a great photo op. Plus they have the projector playing like the old Let's All Go to the Lobby and old like Universal Monsters clips. It's amazing. Then in the back you have this great photo op of the Bride of Frankenstein and Frankenstein's monster with the electric chair. And then finally, when you go by the Coca-Cola station, you'll find the double doors, which leads you out to the balcony and you have the most amazing views of Universal City Walk and it's just such a vibe up here like this whole place is so cool I love that they have been theming this for every different type of holiday like they did for Mardi Gras and they've been doing this every year it's such a vibe and a great place to come hang out after the parks well my dudes those were the things that you can do here at Universal Orlando during spooky season without an HHN ticket let me know in the comments what was your favorite activity of this video are you coming to Universal during Halloween season are you going to HHN or are you just going to maybe uh, get a little bit of your spooky fill with the things we did here in this video. Let me know in the comments below. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you did like the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification so you don't miss anything that goes in this channel. Follow me on Instagram at Magical Hijinks. Check out the Patreon, become a Patreon, get exclusive bonus content, bonus lives, access to the Discord, help with trip planning, and so much, so much more. And you'll be helping me to continue bringing you great content like this to this channel. And until next time, my dudes, I hope you guys can do some hijinks very, very soon. Have a bye.